Let me, let me just move. A lot cooler here than Georgia anyway. <laughs> Man, about 110 for <laughs> This is cool today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is cool. This, all is cool. It haven't been hot yet. You know, uh, three years, man, in Georgia. <laughs> you get about 110, 105. Oh. This, is, this is life for you. Coach was talking about the, the helmet communication. With you, he feels like it's helped because he can tell you, you know, in the moment, hey, do this or don't do that or whatever. How much do you feel like this? coming into a new system? How do you feel like it's helped you? Um... It, it, it helps helps a lot, you know. Uh, what's about to go on? If I don't have my uh, indication right, so alerts right, you know, he alert me. So I'm coming on, but for the most part, uh, I, I have everything down packed, and um, it's just an like, easier way for him to communicate it. And, uh, that's that's basically it right there, you know. Just giving you a helping hand before the ball snap. He uh, also gives me pre-snap, so it hurts you. It helps you a lot on the play. What's the biggest difference in what you're being asked to do in this scheme versus what you've done previously at Georgia? Um, the difference? Is no any? No. See the ball hit? <laughs> See the ball hit. You know, you got a little cover, running back, cover the tight end a little bit. You, gotta, you know, you got to uh, take the ups, take the throughs. Same thing. Ball is ball. Yeah. Ain't no, ain't no difference. Just the name. Any young guys on that defense standing out to you so far? Young guys, uh, man, like I said, man, I'm I'm new here myself. I'm, I'm trying to focus on myself, but uh, yeah, see, it's a few, uh, it's a few D tackles that's coming along, DBs coming along. I don't want to put too much pressure on their name, so. Uh, I say, uh, D Jack, me and D Jack, uh. Talk a lot, uh, defense, on the field, off the field, um, which that's how I got to be when we be close, you know. Football is a connection game, so two inside backs hanging out every day, that's a, that's a good look. You, Brock was there when you were there at Georgia. What, what did you see from him there? Brock, uh, just a, a kid that was wanted to get an opportunity to play, but, uh, you know, I guess it didn't work out like that. But, you know, coming here, um, Sam Brock really mature, really being patient, and um, hopefully things work out for him. Were you surprised that he stayed for three years there, waiting as way he did? I mean, that's not common with quarterbacks. No, nah, you know, at a program like Georgia, that's what you got to do. You got to wait some time. You know, uh, one great year, you go to the league. So, um, no, I'm not surprised at all. You know, the way, the way coach running the program over there, sometimes you got to sit. Um, Sometimes people don't. You know, you got a few people that didn't sit. Malachi, Brock, but for the most part, everybody had to sit. I had to sit. So, uh, was it shot? Nah, you got to stay through the grind, fight it out. And sometimes you got to go. Sometimes you got to. Sometimes you got to stay. A lot of preseason buzz about you guys and the potential of, of this defense. Do you do you think that's a, a a fair way to look at it? That you could be one of the better defenses? Uh, uh, I, I don't know what buzz we got. I don't pay attention to the things like that. Um, you know, you got to focus on be where your feet are. We have price right now. We ain't not on the internet. So we got to, you know, just keep working. And um, don't pay attention to the outside noise. I haven't seen the buzz. What they been saying? Saying they, they like you, like what you guys got, the personnel. Speaking of where your feet are, do you feel like the defense get better each day? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, we don't. If we don't, we losing days, man, you know. Uh, game day, what, 23 days? Twenty three days. You can't take no step back. You gotta keep going forward. When it's hot, like when it's this it's, not hot, it's not hot out here. It's not hot. It's not hot. Do you have to remind your teammates of that? Yeah, I tell them all the time. It's not hot out here. It's cool. <laughs> they look at me crazy, man. You wanna see the sun out? Yeah, but it ain't hot. <laughs> so how's the how's the first week or so gone of, of camp and, and being in the full pads now? Uh, it's going good, man. We got a lot of healthy competition, you know, guys competing, man, and just having fun out here, getting better every day. There's a lot of buzz around your unit this year going into the season. People think you have the potential to be really good. Or you seeing signs of that? Absolutely, man. We're taking it one day at a time, man, and trying to be the best we can be. Uh, we got we got good leaders in the room, man. We got good guys. We got guys that love to compete, and we got a good coach, Coach Collins, man. So the sky's the limit for us. Absolutely, man. Like you said, with the depth, I feel like it helps us stay fresh and prevent any soft tissue injuries. So, like, it's like to the point now, Coach Collins, 
believes that the two deep can go in and there'd be no production drop. So if anybody gets a deep ball, we can bring someone in. So for example, if Matt get a deep ball, I can come in for Max and take him, let him get a breather really quick and let him come back in fully energized instead of him having to play that play kind of tired out. What's competition been like in, in your group? They're very competitive and healthy, man. Like the guys, uh, you know, supporting each other. Like when I catch on the sales and everyone's coming around me and celebrating, it's the same. You don't just see a teammate or your brother that can play and you envy him. And it's like healthy competition, man. But it's also bringing the best out of us because we all competitors at the end of the day. What have you seen out of the wide receivers? Man, coach is doing a great job with them guys. Every last one of them is, 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 is has improved that game from last year, from the Danes to Barry Young. But I feel like, man, Fredo has had a really good, man, really good camp. Fredo has been very impressive. He's one of my favorite receivers to compete against. He's a dog. A bunch of those guys have mentioned you when, when we talk to them. They talk about your size and strength and length. Uh, who, who gives you that kind of challenge on the other side of the ball that is, yeah. is tough? Uh, I say with me being a tall, lengthy guy, like the short and the quick guys give me a more challenge. So like the Anthony Browns and the Brandon Whites. But like I said, man, like Fredo and, and Dane and Barry, and they all are great receivers. So And what's really good about them guys, they're so versatile. So I'm able to get different looks against different receivers. When I want a big body, strong, physical receiver, I can get some rest with Dane. I want a speed, so I can go with Barry. And I want a route technician, I can go with Fredo. It's just also Macklin, too. He's in the slot, so I don't really get as much work with him. But, man, all our receivers are talented, man. They pushing us and helping us be better corners every day. How has Coach Collins helped you kind of maximize your, your physical gifts and, and that size and length? Yeah, man. Coach Collins has been great, man. I appreciate Coach Collins working with me last year because I was expecting my season to be better than what it was, but he still worked with me, man. He still believes in me, and I'm about to showcase why he should believe in me this season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk a little bit about how the opening week or so of camp has gone for you, and especially since putting the pads on. I know that gets a lot of guys excited to – yeah. Start playing real football. Yeah, it's been exciting, you know, being out here with my teammates, you know, seeing new faces come in, you know, getting adjusted to the defense, you know, getting or uh, moving into inside linebackers. So it's been real fun for me. What's the biggest change or, or feel for you as a player having, you know, been around a while now? We can refer to you as, a, as one of the veterans right. as opposed to that guy who came in initially and caused the buzz yeah. and we, we were talking to that young guy. <laughs> yeah, it's just the game is just slowed down to me. I'm a, like you said, I'm a, one of the older guys now, so I got to bring the young guys in, you know, and just the game, the game is like, it just slowed down for me. I, I, I could tell what offenses is about to do and everything, it's just having that much experience for me up the lot. Coach White, just talk to us about your, your versatility and how they feel like they can move you around and, mm -hmm. and they do a lot of things in different yeah. packages. Is that something that, that you've embraced? Yeah, for sure. Something I find myself with. Uh, I've been like that since I was younger, you know, playing all type of position from linebacker, running back, safety, everything. So it wasn't nothing new for me when I came here. I was just adjusted to it. Wherever they put me, I could play it. Is there anywhere that feels the most comfortable right now? Or Yeah, right now the inside linebacker feel very comfortable for me. Feel like I'm just closer to the ball, so I'm, I can use my athleticism and make a lot of plays. You're, you're facing uh, one of those SEC guards coming up the middle or center. Mm. Uh, you're not going to have as much of a head start from where you are as you used to. So, yeah. uh, how do you uh, adjust to taking those guys on? Man, just from practice out here, you know, just coming out here, taking it off from them and stuff like that. Just I've been getting stronger in their weight room, so I feel ready for that, though. You look bigger yeah. right now. What, what are you right now kind of compared to what you played at last year? Yeah, right now I'm at 222. I played last year around 214. So, yeah, I put a few pounds in, feel stronger, feel faster. Where does that show up? Can, can you tell that difference? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. In my power, you know, just hitting people, striking people, you know, getting, on, getting an offensive lineman off of me. I could, I could feel that power I have now. How important is it striking, playing off more off ball linebacker than compared to how you feel the team? It's, it's important, very important. You know, the alignment coming at you, they coming at you fast, it's going to happen fast. So, you know, you got to be ready, you got to be ready to strike, be powerful. Now back to the, when the conversation happened about maybe trying to learn this position, was that you going to the coaches? Was that the coaches going to you? How, how did that kind of work out? It was really, it was really mutual. You okay. know, Coach White came up to me and there was, this was last year at the, during the bowl game. So when he came over to talk to me about it, I was excited for that change. I feel like that's going to benefit me more in the future. Yeah, has it been, because um, you're playing two positions right now. Mm -hmm. Has that been, I don't know, overwhelming is the right word, but that's 
that that caused you more like mentally, I like, got to be more locked in to knowing what to do on each kind of play at do different positions? Yeah, I don't think it's overwhelming. Um, I think I played two years in that uh, position, so I, it's like ABCs to me, you gotcha. know, so, so I've been um, definitely the linebacker. That's what I got to uh, – that's why I've been learning a lot more. I've been focusing a lot more because I like the uh, medium position. It's like ABC system. I've been playing there for two years.